Hello everyone, today we're gonna go over how to save variables inside your Unreal Engine game. So if I go right now to the leaderboard, you can see that the player 2 has a time and player 1 has a time. If I were to do another time, and add it to the leaderboard, so we're just gonna complete this really quick, say player 3, confirm. As you can see, the three players are there and there are times. Normally, if I would close the game, we would lose all this data and the variables would be set back to zero or their default value. But if I open back the game, as you can see, the data is still here. So to achieve this, it's really quite simple, actually. We go into our content folder and anywhere you want, uh, in my case, I created a saves folder. We're going to create a blueprint of class save game. Call it whatever you want. And then inside this blueprint, we have to create variables with the same structure of the variables that we want to save. So in my case, because I want to save the um, variables associated with the uh, race, I created this one, which as you can see, if I go to my third person character, has the same structure as this variable right here. It has five array elements, and the variable type is of the race structure that I created in my previous tutorials. So just to also do a demonstration, I'm gonna also save this variable, race to best time. So I need to, in my BP saves, create a float, saved, race to best time. Compile and save. Once we have the variables created that we want to save, we're going to go back into our third person character. And inside here, we're gonna to two functions. The first one is going to be the safe game. So from the input node, we're going to drag and ask does save game exist. And we drag the slot name back to the input node. Then we're going to create a branch. If there's already a game, we want to load from game slot. We drag from the slot name to the slot name. If it's false, we create a game safe object. And the class needs to be the one which is created. In my case, it's BP underscore saves. From here, we're going to promote to a variable, call it save ref, and put it on both branches. From this one, we're going to cast to BP saves. And here is where we get the um, variables that we want to save. So this one I already have, but since we added another one, we're going to do that also. We're going to set race saved to best time. And the one we need to set it to is this. So when we save the game, the data we have here will be transferred to these variables. After you set the variables that you want to save, we say save game to slot. And from here, we simply say get slot name. So this is referring to whatever we plug into here. And that's all. Well, we have to put the save ref, so this variable also into here. And that's all in the save game. Then for the load game function, the first step is the same. Does game exist? Plug the slot name back into the input node, and we do a branch. If there is a saved game, we load game from slot. Same thing here. 
get slot name. From here we cast to BP saves. And here we're going to do the opposite. We get the variable that's in here in the BP saves and we set it to the variable we have in our third person. So we're doing the opposite as before. Once you have these two functions done, we want to go to the blueprint where we want to save these variables. In my case, because I'm using the variables associated to the races, I'm going to go to the last event that is called when I finish a race. And at the end of it, I'm going to plug in my save function, so from my third person reference, which I have here. So an event construct, I cast to my third person character and then get and promote this to a variable. From here, I simply call the function save game. And this is more important thing. So I promoted the slot name to a variable. In my case, I called it race saves here. But the important thing is that the default value, this is the number that you want to keep in mind. Uh, sorry, this is the name that you want to keep in mind. In my case, I called it the, the default value is the same as the name. Because when we go to load the game, in my case, I want to load the game when the player starts playing. So on event begin play, the first thing I do is load the game. So I simply drag my function here. And on slot name is the name that we put on the save games. So on the save game function, sorry. So if we go to the stopwatch, the default value for this is race saves. So we have to copy it exactly and paste it here. And that should be all done. As you can see, there's no best time right now associated with this race because we haven't played it yet. If I complete it, now it should be 8.07. And I'll exit the game, start playing again, and do the race again. And as you can see, the best time is now saved. And this was all for today. It's really quite simple. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.